All right, all right, I hears ya. My seasons had too much seasoning. That's all right. We're gonna dial it back a notch. Season A is hot and dry. Season B is a little less hot and a little less dry. Season C is a little less hot and a little less dry. Season D is neutral. Season E is a little cool and a little wet. We're gonna just go like that. And then we're gonna take it backwards. Oh, I can I can only do up to season H. Okay, hang on. Season B is neutral. Season C Actually here. I'll I'll only set it to a maximum of two little arrows. And then and then season D can be neutral also, but super windy. Alright. Well, not that windy. I don't wanna ruin everything again. Okay. Let's try this again. And a big thank you to Lulut8, who said that I made the seasons too harsh. I will definitely be seeing if that fixes the problem. I got a lot of suggestions from you guys about how to go forward with this series. Um, I am going to put those into effect, but I'm going to wait until the update comes out so I get a little bit more freedom. Ah, I can have purple! Love purple. I also joined the subreddit r slash the sapling, where people posted glitches that plants are turning into animals, and I think that's very funny. I'm not gonna see if I can make it happen, because if I'm relying on a glitch we might be here all day, but I think it's cool to note that that can happen. Okay, and as before, I'm going to make two sea-dwelling creatures, one herbivore, one carnivore. I'm gonna color code them as before with yellow for the herbivores and purple for the carnivores. I'm also going to test out the idea that they are asexually reproducing. So I only plonked down one of them, one alive, one years old, but he's the only one with no competition. So if they do reproduce asexually, he should be able to get a foothold without any issue. Or she, I suppose. Ah, nope, died out. Let's try again. No experiment is complete without multiple trials. Nine alive! Okay, yes, so they can reproduce asexually. 86 alive. Let's add a predator. And I gave it a horn, because I made the predators slightly larger, which means they'll need more energy than the prey creatures, and so I wanted to give them a slight advantage to offset that. And let's jump 250 years. Oh wait, I forgot to turn on mutations. But they're still alive! Okay, now let's switch those on. 250. Okay. I think we're getting changes in the mouths, but that looks like it's the only significant change we're observing. Which is par for the course. I'm gonna crank the mutation chance up again because I've got a meeting soon, so... Actually, what did I set it to? 50. It's pretty extreme, but that was what I had to do last time. So let's... not that far. Let's jump ahead a thousand. Okay. No limbs, but that's fine. Do we have any plants? No. What's the algae up to? Ooh, this one's slightly bluer. Okay. Wait a minute. What are you doing on land? Are you a land-dwelling creature? With no limbs? I suppose I can't rule it out. I mean, slugs exist. I just didn't think that could happen in this game. Or maybe it just got beached somehow. Eh, I don't see it anymore. I think it got beached. Another thousand. What are you doing there? Your head is underground, you poor sad creature. All right, what have we got? Still nothing too exciting. Let's keep going. Let's do 5,000. Still no land-dwelling friends. What is that algae color? 
Is that gray? Yeah, it's like a gray blue. Slate! Nah, not dark enough to be slate gray. Neat. All right, what have we got after the 5,000? Vorta lips. Vorta lips. All right, no fins, no fins. I mean, tail fin, but that doesn't count. It's not what we're going for. Let me turn up the um, algae and plant mutation chances to 50 as well. That way, um, if they do make it onto land, they'll at least have some land plants to consume. Give us another thousand. No land plants. Any fins? Nope. Did we get any plants that just didn't make it? No. We did not. 5k! We had a plant. Briefly. And it died. So I'm gonna give it another shot. Animals... You've got a light, or is that another horn? I really can't tell. Um, I think that might be another horn. Like a little nubbin of bone. Botomicus. Oh, now that's a light, isn't it? On a Lurtalops. Yeah, that's totally a light. Nice. That's an ear. That's another ear. <gasps> is that a fin? Oh! Oh, glorious. Wait, are you dead? No, it's dead! Okay, let me turn off the extinct filter. Wait a minute! Did all the prey animals die out? So now they're just the predators are hunting each other, huh? Wait a minute, one of the predators evolved to become herbivorous. Look at the mouth shape. Well, okay, I guess that makes sense. An herbivore with a horn will outcompete an herbivore without a horn. I just thought because of size, you know, they would need more energy and that would be enough of a, um, disadvantage. Anyway, let's give it 5k. Ah, beautiful, perfect. What is that? <laughs> oh, that's gonna look terrible. All right, let's see it. These are all perfectly respectable plant shapes. These are fine. You're a little wonky, but I don't think you're the one I saw. Oh my god, we have 35 pages of plants. Oh, ho <laughs> ho. Wow! She's thick! Ah, that's totally the one I saw. Look at that! Oh my god, you could fence with that thing! Whoa, wait, 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 that one's even longer! <laughs> my goodness! Look at that! Wow! Oh my goodness! Wow! <laughs> oh, these are crazy! Maybe I shouldn't have had the mutation chance up so high. Okay. Animals. Is that fins? I can't tell. Let me have a look. Yes! Fins! It's only one of you. I have to give you a better shot. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn off mutations just for a bit and let any species with strong disadvantages die out over the next 500 years. Should I reintroduce the prey creatures as a land animal? That might be interesting. Okay, now we have only one page of animals. Unfortunately, it looks like our friend with the limbs is not among them. Plants... St we still have 32 pages of plants. I guess the plants don't compete as much. Look at that shape. Let's make a land herbivore. That's nice and simple, yeah? Okay. We'll give them plenty of time to evolve and adapt to conditions on land before the purple predators make their way out of the ocean and we'll see if they can still dominate the yellow ones. Let's give it a hundred years of no mutations just to let them get a foothold. Okay, looking good. Gonna set the plant mutation chance down to two. 
Because we already have plenty of plants. Let's give it a thousand. Okay, we have three variations. Looks like they've got different feet. No limbs yet on the purple friends. The number of plant species is finally going down. We're down to 29 now. Give it 5,000. Oh, wow! Look at all those beaks! I think our yellow friends are gonna give our purple friends a run for their month. Ne what? Hold on. Oh my god. Oh, look at you, you little freak. Your feet do not touch the ground. <laughs> wow. You are terrifying. I'm afraid of this creature. The predatory species don't stand a chance against it. I'm not even entirely sure it's still a riverous. I, I don't know the, the beak types. It could be that they've just evolved to hunt each other. I guess I'll save. I want to see the way they move. Are you not gonna move? Can you move? What? If you hear a really high-pitched sound, go away from it. If you see an egg, go towards it. Wild. Look at that thing. Hideous, hideous monstrosity. Let's give it a thousand. Oh, you have eye stalks! Yeah, look at them! Okay. I can't tell if you have the land-dwelling mouth or not. You do have the land-dwelling mouth, you just don't have any limbs. Okay, okay. I'm gonna give you these. These are a gift, okay? Do you understand? These are a gift. Do me proud! I am an impatient and wrathful god. I'm gonna give you the best possible chance. I'm putting you everywhere. And I think you're technically an omnivore. You should do fine. Let's see if he is overwhelmed by the magnificence of our yellow freaks. Thousand years. There's three of you left, but you're still around. Do you have any descendants? No, not really. <laughs> you're hanging in there, bud. You're hanging in there. I'm gonna give you another little push. It's okay. And another thousand years. Are you gone? I think they're gone. Yeah, the head start that the yellow boys had was just too much for any further adaptations from the purple boys to compete. The purples are doomed to millennia of eating each other, and the yellows have overwhelmed the land. Well, that was interesting. Maybe next time I should try it and not get impatient and just rush things along. <laughs> but that's gonna do it for this video, so thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoyed, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!